If you are watching for the first time, welcome. My name is Jackie Cooks. Subscribe and join the party. Don't be shy. Talk to me in the comments. Pig feet are eaten because they're always rooted in the ground. And they're always pushing forward, which is the direction we're going to be going in for 2021. Look at these amazing pig feet. peas over rice, collard greens, cornbread with Frank's hot sauce. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make the most delicious Barbecue, sticky, delicious, sweet, hot pig feet. Ow! <laughs> watching for the first time my name is Jackie Cooks welcome please subscribe and join the party click on that subscribe button below in this video we're going to be making barbecue pigs feet this is a traditional recipe passed down from generation to generation this is made every New Year's Eve to bring in the new year black eyed peas are for good luck prosperity and money collard greens represent paper money and cornbread represents gold you ready here we go first i did scrub it to get all the hair make sure all the fingernails were off and excess dirt and then i pre-boiled it and then i rinsed it and then i boiled it again lemon for three reasons number one it cleanses number two it marinates and then number three it tenderizes so you always want to use fresh lemon apple cider vinegar also does the same thing it cleanses marinates and it tenderizes chopping up some bell pepper red orange and green because bell pepper enhances any meal i don't care what you cooking bell pepper adds so much flavor <laughs> Just use onion <laughs> and garlic. I'm gonna be cutting up some onion and I'm gonna chop up some garlic. favorite seasonings that's going to make these pig feet taste juicy, delicious, full of so much flavor, and the barbecue sauce is just going to top it off, off the chain. <laughs> We're 
gonna add just a dash of soy sauce because you know soy sauce goes a long way and you don't need that much. So just a dash of soy sauce. Now that we have it all seasoned and mixed well to our satisfaction, we're gonna go ahead and pour it in the crock pot, but be very, very careful because it is heavy. It's not hot, but it's heavy. It's delicious though, so be careful. <laughs> guys now that we got it in our crock pot we got a few hours to kill so let's go shopping <laughs> okay time is up and it looks amazing look how delicious that looks so tender so soft so smooth and the bones just fell right off you could take your teeth out and eat these. You can eat these pig feet. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and drain all the juice off. But we're going to keep the vegetables. We're going to keep the onions. But be careful because this crock pot is heavy. And it smells absolutely delicious. Looks so good. Smells so amazing. And the barbecue sauce ain't, ain't even on yet. Oh, Lord, how messy. It looks so good. You see how I just picked up that bone with no effort? I make my own barbecue sauce, so if you guys want the recipe, let me know in the comments. Look at that. Look at that. Putting, putting barbecue sauce on it is just like putting icing on a cake. Because you know the cake is already good. But the icing just takes it to a whole nother level. I did put it in the oven twice and I did put barbecue sauce on it twice. I'm having a rum chowder right now. If you have not checked out the peppermint rum chowder video, please check that video out because this is absolutely delicious. I have other great videos. You want to check those out too? Just look at these amazing barbecue pig feet. Don't forget your sweet potato pie. If you are watching for the first time, welcome. My name is Jackie Cooks. Subscribe and join the party. Don't be shy. Talk to me in the comments. <laughs>